Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a little alarm system. Now, this alarm system is cellular based, so when the alarm is triggered, you'll send an SMS text message to your cell phone. Now, this is not a permanent solution, it's just temporary. So, if you need to monitor a location, say for a couple of days, you could build up one of these pretty quickly. So, all you need is an Arduino Nano module an HC06 Bluetooth module connected together, mounted in some kind of enclosure, like this. And you could power it externally, if you have external power. Or you could power it by batteries. I have a little shelf. I slide in here and I put my batteries on top. Or you could get those little battery packs, those LiPo battery packs that have USB connectors on them, and you could power it that way. So now to trigger this, this alarm, we could use uh, magnetic reed switches, say to monitor a door. Or we could use a piezo motion detector to monitor vibration, or we could even use a photocell to monitor light. Anything that will give us a contact closure that we could feed into the GPIO of the Nano, which will trigger the alarm and send an SMS text message to our cell phone. So I have a little push button switch on the side of my box, which gives me a contact closure, which I could uh, test my uh, alarm by pressing this button, I could set off the alarm. So at the location to be monitored, we need this box here, which is powered up. And we need a, a, a smartphone, an Android smartphone. So these two devices will be at the uh, location to be monitored. And then when the alarm is triggered, it will send an SMS text message to a cell phone, which could be miles away. That will indicate that the alarm has been triggered. Okay, here's the block diagram of our cellular alarm system. Now there's three main components. We have the Arduino Nano, we have the HC06 Bluetooth module, and we have our cell phone, our Android cell phone. Now the Nano and the HC06 Bluetooth module are powered by 5 volts. The serial port of the Nano is connected to the serial port of the HC06 Bluetooth module. And the Nano is monitoring the switch contacts through one of the GPIO pins. It's monitoring the alarm trigger. Now the cell phone is paired to the HC06 Bluetooth module, so the cell phone has to be within Bluetooth range of the HC06 uh, Bluetooth module. And the cell phone is running an app called Arduino SMS. Now when the, when the alarm is triggered, the Nano will send out a string into the HC06 Bluetooth module, which will be transmitted over to the cell phone into the app, the Arduino SMS app. Now when the cell phone receives that string, it will send an SMS text message as the alarm. Now the message that the Nano sends when there's alarm is a 10-digit uh, phone number to the cell phone you want it to be sent to then a forward slash, then a text message. In this case, we could put in alarm is tripped. So when the alarm is tripped, when the contacts close, the Nano uh, detects that. it will send the string, and the cell phone will send the SMS text message as the alarm. Okay, let's say that you are moving. So you have rented a U-Haul trailer, or maybe even a U-Haul truck, and you're going a fair distance. So at night you have to stop at a hotel. So you park your U-Haul truck in the hotel parking lot. Now that's a target for thieves when they see a U-Haul truck or a trailer in a, in a hotel parking lot. So you can put the alarm inside the truck. You can rig up something on the doors, like say the magnetic reed switches, so if the door is open it will trigger the alarm. Or you could even use a photocell hooked up to the control box so when they open the door the light will trigger the alarm. Now inside the truck you can put your control box and then anywhere inside the truck or even in the cab of the truck you can put, this, you can put your uh, smartphone that's running the app you could hide it, say you could roll it up in a sleeping bag or something and hide it inside the truck, as long as it's within Bluetooth range uh, of the control box. So now when somebody tries to break into the truck and it triggers the alarm, you'll get a message on your, on your cell phone inside the hotel indicating somebody is breaking into your truck. Okay, I have my control box up and running. You can see it wants to be paired because my Bluetooth module is blinking. So I have my app up and running, my Arduino SMS app. So I'll pair to it pair to my control box and the LED should stop flashing so now she's paired so now I, I could get out of this app and I can go back to my main screen and even, even if my screen closes it's still going to be running in the background so now I'm going to trigger my alarm now I don't have another cell phone so I, I redirected all my alarm SMS's to the same cell phone to itself so now this, this cell phone will actually ring. It will actually announce that I'm getting alarmed. So I'll press my alarm button. Now I should get alarm. 
There's my alarm coming up. Alarm triggered. Now I have it set for every 10 seconds. It's going to continuously send that alarm until I actually go out there and shut down the control box and disable the alarm. Okay, here's the code running on my Nano for my SMS alarm. And the code is written in fourth, and it's very simple. There's only a few lines. So the name of the program is called SMS. So the first thing it does is init that initializes pin 2 as an input with a pull-up. Now pin 2 is monitoring the switch contacts. So I put a, a delay in there of 60 seconds. So when the unit powers up, there's a 60 second delay that gives you time to pair the smartphone to the app, to the Arduino SMS app, and then close the doors of the truck. And then after the 60 seconds is up, it's going to go into a begin until loop, and it's going to be monitoring pin 2 to see if it's going low. That's going to continuously loop, monitoring pin 2. Now if pin 2 goes low, that means it's been triggered. It'll jump out of that loop, and it'll go into a begin again loop. And in this loop, it's going to, it's going to send this string out so that you can see there's your phone number. There's a 10-digit phone number, then a forward slash, and then your text. So you can put whatever text you want in there, and you can put in the phone number of the phone that you want to send this text to. And I'll do that every 10 seconds, over and over again, in this begin until loop, it never ends. Now you could change that time, you, instead of 10 seconds, you can make it a minute, two minutes, five minutes, whatever you want. So that's basically it, it's going to stay in that loop. And it's going to continuously send out the alarm until you go out there and you shut it off. Okay, so that's my little cellular alarm system project. Now there are many ways that you could use the Arduino SMS app to come up with your own alarm system. So think of different ways that you could trigger this alarm. You could trigger the Nano to send out an SMS text for your own application.